Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to introduce to you the topic of project management software tools. There are many different types of project management software and they can support you in many different aspects of managing a project but they're especially there to help you take the drudgery out of project management although before you use them you do have to understand the underlying principles but as you begin your journey in project management or advance through your career it's important to know a little something about them so let's start at the very beginning and ask this question just what are project management software tools anyway Project management software helps us to perform a number of project management related activities such as, well in short project software supports nearly everything that a project manager can do within a project. Here's kind of a word map or a wordle as they call it that give you a taste of what you're going to encounter in the MS and project management program. You enter tasks, you create a work breakdown structure, you may create a Gantt chart, create dependencies between tasks, uh, manage your schedule, manage your budget, uh, manage task durations and identify them, maybe estimate them. You may want to use the project software to uh, help control, monitor and control the progress of your project. So th just about everything you will find in the project management body of knowledge uh, has supporting software to assist you with that. Uh, so just about uh, to answer the question what can it do for you just about anything and everything within the project management body of knowledge so long as you really understand the underlying principles that guide what you're doing let's take a look at some of the tools that are out there this is from Gartner in uh, May 2013 if you look at the top project software tools used by industry number one is put out by Oracle and it's a package called Primavera the next is MS Project, and often in large companies, it's the server view version is used. Then there's a company called CA Technologies, as we'll see, also has a free version that you can use, followed by PlanView, HP, and then other providers. Other is very high. That's the highest category out there. And why is Other so high? It's because there's so many new web-based and cloud-based tools that are popping up that have their own unique angle for how to best manage projects and many of them uh, deviate from the traditional way of managing projects starting with the work breakdown structure to tasks to dependencies between tasks resource loading resource leveling assigning cost that traditional step-by-step -step method some of these new packages may not emphasize that as much they may emphasize for, for example in the cloud having a common place to put project documents to manage requirements to communicate with one another let's take a quick look at who some of these other providers are in the 42 percent according to softwareadvice.com you see some that you may not have heard of before uh, from WorkZone to uh, Rike, Liquid Planner, BillQuick, Workflow, Replicon, Clarison. I have not used some of these packages. Actually, I've used one that's not on there, uh, a web-based web uh, tool called Basecamp, which uh, manage, helps you manage aspects of a project, but it may not have all the tools that something like a Primavera, a MS Project, or a PlanView may have. Now there are also some open source solutions that you can use, and many of which act or behave very similar to uh, the more traditional uh, brand names that you see in the top uh, uh, list of companies. Project Libre is one sort uh, such tool. Notice it's at www.projectlibre.org. You can download that and uh, it works very similar to uh, a scaled down, I would call it a scaled down version of MS Project. You can enter tasks, durations, establish dependencies between tasks, enter resources, you can create a Gantt chart view or a network diagram view. It's free and uh, some companies do use it. I would classify that uh, in others. If you remember from the chart uh, from Gartner, um, CA Technologies is uh, in the top three and CA also has um, a, a piece of software called Open Workbench. Open Workbench is a free version of uh, project management software that they do make available and you may want to uh, uh, take advantage of it and try Open Workbench, see how it works for you. 
Uh, there are other open source solutions. I've mentioned Project Libre. There's also Libre Plan, um, Open Project, G uh, Project Open, Redmine, Agile Font. Uh, you can find that in the in the link. Uh, OpenSource.com, Business 15, One, Top Project Management Tools, etc. You can find these uh, on the web, and uh, you may find that they're very useful. Uh, now these do a, a lot of things for you automatically that previously might have been done by hand if you use something like Excel. For example, you enter the task and the duration and it automatically creates uh, a Gantt chart, a network diagram, it locates the critical path. Other supporting tools, for example, Excel templates may not do that all that for you, but if you're familiar with using Excel, you might find them easy to use and for a rather simple project it may not be uh, that uh, difficult for you to use. You may find it more comfortable than using one of the uh, more advanced uh, software tool packages. In fact, uh, during my career in industry, I spent several years with Panasonic, and only in the last couple of years did they move away from Excel templates into uh, MS Project Server, for example. So you'll see a range of different uh, tools that are used out there in industry. So finally, uh, what tools do we use within the MS and Project Management program? Uh, you can use the project management software of your choice when you're completing course projects uh, or if it's otherwise identified in the syllabus or the course shell. Typically though, exercises that are given within the MS and Project Management program unless otherwise indicated are intended to be completed manually with the aid of simple tools such as Excel because before you use some of these advanced packages we want you to know uh, the fundamentals of project management. I think you might agree that makes sense. Uh, so this is an introduction to the topic of project management software tools. We hope you find it useful as you proceed through your program and through your project management career.